I recently discovered some faceless YouTube channels crushing it with animation. They share valuable ideas, tackle social issues, and tell historical stories in ways you've never seen before. Take Ted Ed, for example, earning over $102,400 a month, or Cos Gesat, pulling in over $224,000. $300 monthly, according to Social Blade. These channels have been around pre AI using various animation techniques to achieve stunning results. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to recreate a Ted Ed style animation video using low poly animation style with the help of AI. Before we get started, check out this animation video I created. In the sands of time, one name stands out as a symbol of beauty, power, and mystery, Nefertiti. But who was this iconic queen, and what makes her story so captivating? Nefertiti lived around 1370 BCE, during the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Her name means, the beautiful one has come, and she was the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Together, they ruled during one of Egypt's most intriguing periods. Nefertiti and Akhenaten are best known for their religious revolution. They abandoned the traditional Egyptian pantheon to worship Aten, the sun disk. This shift to monotheism was a radical departure symbolized by the construction of a new capital, Akhetaten, known today as Amarna. As co-regents, Nefertiti played a significant role in the state and religious affairs of Amarna, showcasing her importance and influence. Nefertiti's legacy endures largely due to the discovery of her exquisite bust in 1912. This iconic artifact captures her regal beauty and has become a symbol of ancient Egypt's grandeur. Despite her prominence, Nefertiti's fate remains a mystery. Records of her later life are sparse, leading to various theories. Some suggest she ruled as a pharaoh in her own right. Nefertiti's life and legacy continue to fascinate historians and archaeologists. Her story is a testament to the enduring allure of ancient Egypt and its complex history. The first step is choosing the topic you want to cover. Use the channels I mentioned earlier for inspiration and use ChatGPT to generate multiple array of topics. Once you choose a topic, ask ChatGPT to write a script about the chosen topic while giving a description of images that belong to different scenes. These descriptions will be used as prompts in an image generator. For this tutorial, we will be focusing on the story of one of the popular women in history, Nefertiti. Please note, this is not a fictional story, so you have to do your fact check on the script from ChatGPT, and if possible, in your video description, reference your source of information. Now that we have our script written and fact checked, Next is to create the images using Midjourney. But before we create the images, we need to understand what low poly animation is. It is a style of 3D animation that uses a relatively low number of polygons to create characters, environments, and objects. This style gives the visuals a distinct angular and often retro appearance. For example, come to Midjourney website, click on explore and type in the search bar low poly and scan through the images to get inspiration and ideas. Please note you can use any type of animation for your videos. I chose to use low poly animation because I find it interesting and it has also worked on some channels. To create the images, use the image descriptions created during the script writing phase. My image generation process for videos like this starts with the creation of the main character. Once I get the image and the aesthetics I want, then other images will be created from it as a reference style. This is the prompt I used to create the Nefertiti image and then went ahead to use the image as an inspiration and in some cases 
style reference to generate all the images I needed. I will be releasing an in-depth tutorial soon on image generation with Midjourney after the generation of over 100 images in association with the scenes. I went ahead to upscale the images I will be using in the next steps. To do that, just come to the image of your choice and click on upscale subtle or you can save the image and use websites like bigjpg.com to upscale the image. Now we have all our upscaled images. Next is to create a storyboard. But before moving on to the next step, I like to make slight modifications depending on the image using Canva. You can make use of Photoshop or online equivalent of Photopea. I start by uploading all the images to Canva and then make the necessary adjustment and clean up using the image tool in Canva. Once that is done, I like to create a storyboard to see how the images and story ties together. To do that, just come to Canva in the search bar, type in storyboard template and multiple templates will be loaded. Choose one and select customize template. Go ahead to add all the images and scene text to see how they tie together. I am aware there is an AI tool that can help with storyboarding, but I am currently on the wait list to test it out. LTX Studio, if you're watching, I need my access. Thank you. Or if anyone knows any other good AI tool that can help with storyboarding while creating high quality, consistent characters, let me know in the comment section. This can literally save us a lot of time. Once you are satisfied with how your story looks like, it is now time to create the voiceover for our video. I will be using my favorite test to speech AI application 11 labs. This tool have a free plan so you can start with that. Use the voice library to find the appropriate voice for your video and add it to your voice lab. Head back to your speech synthesis page, paste your script and generate the voiceover and download the audio file and save it. The next step is to animate the images we generated. For this step, we will use three AI animation tools, Runway ML, Dream Machine and Immersity AI. Each of these tools was used to animate different types of images. Starting with Runway ML Gen 2, I used this tool to animate images that showcase different environments. To animate the image, select the Gen 2 model for the text, leave it blank, and then camera control, I used to zoom in. Then I used the motion brush to brush over areas I needed movement. In this scenario, I used two brushes. The first brush was used to animate the clouds. For the X axis, I I moved it left and added a bit of ambient. Then for brush two, the same settings were applied to the palm trees to make the tree sway left. Once the setting is done, click on generate for the video to be created. Once the video is done, click on your download. But if you want to extend the video by an additional four seconds, click on the extend button before you download the video. The second tool, Dream Machine by Luma AI, was used to animate images that have characters that needed some form of movement without losing the consistency of the character. This tool is very simple to navigate. You only need to upload the image, type in the prompt and click on generate. Once the video is done, check if it created what you want. Otherwise, repeat the process. Once you have the video you like, go ahead to download the video. The last tool used was Immersity AI for images that I needed some form of dimension with no distortion or change to the image whatsoever. Coming to the website, all you need is to upload your image and choose the animation style. If you need more control, you can use 
choose the manual settings. And once you are done, click on the export button, choose MP4, click next, then choose between limited plus or premium and click next, choose the duration, the FPS, and then export to download the video. Once you have animated all the images, download and save them. The next step is to edit the video, but before editing the video, we need to get the music and sound effects we'll be using. There are different ways to source music and sound effects for your YouTube video. You can create your music using AI tools like Suno. In my last video, I covered extensively how to use this tool. You can check out that video. You can also get free music and sound effects from websites like pixabay.com. You can also get music from paid platforms like Epidemic Sound or Artlist. I use both in my workflow. Once you have the music and sound effects of your choice, it is time to put everything together. For this step, I will be using CapCut. Open up CapCut desktop, the web or the phone version, import all the clips, music and sound effects and start arranging them according to the audio track. Add transitions, video effects, sound effect when necessary. Playback to be sure the way the video looks is what you want. Once that is done, export the combined clips into one video and head over to CapCut website, click on create new and choose video upscaler. It will open in a different window. Then go ahead to upload the video and click on upscale. Once that is done, click on export and then download. The video will be downloaded and you're good to go. You now have a video to upload on YouTube. Creating an educational AI animation video for a faceless YouTube channel is one thing, but there are still other steps you need to execute to make sure you succeed. To help you with the next steps, check out this video and I will see you there.